A man pretending to be a police officer is accused of kidnapping a 13-year-old boy on a bike. The suspect reportedly hit the teen with his truck, then drove away with the youngster, but someone saw what was going on and called police. But the story doesn't end there. KTLA's Pedro Rivera live with all the details. Pedro. Micah Share, that teenage boy did suffer some minor injuries, but is recovering tonight after LAPD detectives say that a man purposely drove his truck into that teenager that was just riding his bikes through the streets of Panorama City. But it's what happened moments later that alerted a witness and led to a bogus cop's arrest. You, you get coerced into this situation and you get removed from the scene. And then you, you think you're going to get helped, and that, that is not what happened here. LAPD Valley Bureau Deputy Chief Alan Hamilton believes 38 year old Aronel Mendoza had a shady scheme after hitting a 13 year old with his truck. I sincerely don't think he had good intentions. Uh, I think this could have ended a very different way had our, our officers not located uh, the individual. Around 8 o'clock Wednesday morning, the teen was riding his bike near the intersection of Van Nuys Boulevard and Tupper Street. Police believe Mendoza, driving this Toyota Tundra, purposely hit the boy. But instead of helping him, he told the teen he was a police officer and forced him into the truck. Fortunately for us, a community member observed what occurred and called 911 and started following the suspect after he placed a victim in the vehicle. After abducting the teen, Mendoza picked up an unidentified passenger. Moments later, police would locate the Tundra at Sepulveda and Tupper, just a mile and a half away from where the kid was taken. No weapons were found on the man. I will say this, he presented himself as a police officer with fake credentials. Mendoza was arrested and charged with kidnapping and could face further charges for impersonating a police officer. The second man in the vehicle was released, believed not to have taken part in the kidnapping. Sí, yo lo he visto pasar por aquí. Sí. Sí. Martha Gutierrez lives in the area and she says she has seen Mendoza walking in her neighborhood. With three daughters at home, she says she's relieved to know a good Samaritan saw something wasn't right, followed Mendoza, and stopped him from duping more children. If I saw this happening, I would follow him and continue following him. One thing that Deputy Chief uh, Hamilton made very clear to me that this is rare that something like this would happen in this community. Someone dressing up or pretending to be a police officer and abducting a child. So that leads to the possibility that Mendoza has done this before. So he's asking for anyone in this area or all throughout the valley to get in touch with police if you had contact with Mendoza before or anyone who is going around pretending to be a police officer.